How y'all doing? I'm Brie here with Ginger in the Desert Creations. Today I have been challenged to once again do a spacey theme, uh, a gas giant. So let's see if we can do that. Let's go paint! First of all, can I just show you that I am slightly annoyed. I was mixing up my paints and I swear I was not harder on this thing than you would be on the average cup of tea. Just sitting mixing stuff, but the side opened up and I ended up wearing a lot of paints. So a whole lot of points wearing the gloves, right? When you end up having it all down your front. Mm-hmm. That's what I get for trying to be vaguely environmentally sound. Plastic would never treat me like that, damn it. Oh well, back to business. Now, we have a lot of colors. I know, I always say I'm not going to do that many colors and then I end up having a lot of colors. But... That's not the way this is really working because these guys are the background and these guys are the main show. So technically I am still following my rules. Five colors and four colors, no more than six. <laughs> so what we've got, we have Creative Inspirations, Thalo Blue. Creative Inspirations, Purple Lake. Those are the big parts of our background because we're doing something spacey. Then we are going to have to give a little bit of those wispy ribbons of, of a hint of space. We are going to use Deco Art Tin, Deco Art Pewter, that's this guy here, and Deco Art Sterling Silva. That will be, and maybe, maybe, maybe I will add in some of our chroma molten metals, dorado gold, I have not decided. Those are our background type colors. Then for our gas giant, we have considerably less folk art aquamarine than I started out with, but we're going to make it work anyway. Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal, because I love this color, even though it kind of confuses me, because is it orange? Is it red? Who knows? Still like it. Dorado Gold Chroma Molten Metals, as I already mentioned, and this is Sergeant Art Pouring Medium. The only thing that I put in it is a bit of Minwax Wood Conditioner, which is featured in all of our paints, because it is magic. We'll be playing with an edge, 12 by 12. 11 16 inch depth canvases because I like the little ones. I am going to use my little wash bottle here full of water. Give this a little pop of water there. And it absorbs into the canvas and somehow helps to tighten it up when they feel slack from chipping and sitting and whatever else. I got funky stuff on it from my glove. That doesn't really matter too much. It's already firming up. Nice drumminess. That's what we want. Nice drumminess. Okay. So I'm going to need a pouring cup now, aren't I? We'll just use this one I've got here, even though I don't know why I've got it over there. It'll work. Okay. So I am hoping to get paintings out of this without having to re 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 whatever it is I do without having to remake remix remix paints that's the word I'm looking for okay so I'm just gonna layer things in the cup so that we will have some wispy variety within a very dark background
now this pewter dries pretty dark as well. So that should work out also. I don't know what the tin dries like. I haven't seen it. But hoping for the best. Okay, let's go for this as our backgroundy sort of color. I'm just gonna straight pour it. Okay. It's already doing some interesting stuff. Little color variations all through here. That's all gonna get lost for the most part because that wasn't what I was that wasn't the point of this exercise. But let's see about spinning it out a little bit. Take a look at all of this that's going on already. Isn't that just crazy? <laughs> Uh, I think this will dry too subtle to really do much with, and I'm not trying to save this part. I'm just trying to have it provide some variety to my background. I think my gas giant is going to be part of an interesting nebula. <laughs> because I may have put a little bit too much visual interest into my background. <laughs> Imagine that can happen. <laughs> I'm going to try to get my corners, even though I'm not going to get good coverage. I know I'm not. It just happens that way. All right, let's go this away. Whoa, don't drop it. Butterfingers. And I am going to stretch this all out because it's okay to stretch a base coat like crazy. That's kind of the point. Kind of sad to see what you lose, though, when you're along the way going, that's damn cool. Too bad. All right, just push it down over this edge a little bit. And then I will do what I'm actually here to do. I'll pull some of this off my table. Well, we're mostly covered. This corner is not, but I will just put my gas giant closer to this corner and then we won't have to worry about it because I will be adding more paint to that side. Hopefully going to be putting it in here and then pushing it so that it stays spherical, but that it Looks like a planet, yeah? <laughs> Looks like a gas giant. Because gas giants, uh, they're stripy because they spin. So that is going to be difficult to do to get stripy stripes that stay when everything wants to be sort of circular or some variation upon that theme. Because, yes, I know someone that likes a difficult challenge. I'm not sure it's me. <laughs> but Mr. Likes Space likes to give me 
difficult challenges. I'm going to no matter where I put it, you can't see it. <laughs> well, it will push that way. Trust me, it will, it will, it will. I don't feel like trusting it, but I'm gonna. Just pop some paint on there. From the table. There we go. And if this wasn't just a base coat, and I wasn't adding colors on top of it, I would have been more careful with my measurement to make sure that I got as much paint on there as I needed and all of that. But that wasn't really the goal, because even though I got something that's really looking cool right now, this was not the final form. I am just going to start with a base of this Sergeant Art White right there. Ooh, it looks thicker than I was expecting. Yes, that is. It looked thinner when I poured it out of the bottle. That may be too thick for my desires. Keep with the plan, keep with the plan. I had to really fight with myself to not put purple into this because I wanted purple in it. And all we're seeing so far. There we go. Now we're getting some stripes. Okay, that may be somewhat the way I'm picturing it. I'm not sure it's going to end up very round. I don't know. This is a difficult challenge for me. <laughs> Just fling the paint everywhere. I've got one side cooperating and being fairly round, and the other side is not. Is not, is not, is not. I'm not sure what to do about that. get it to be a little more round. Come on, darling. Be a little more round for me, will you? Cooperate, please.
I have kind of eliminated the aqua. <laughs> and throw this. disturb it the more I pull up the blue which is not the direction I was trying to go Can't get it to be a smooth little world. Whoa, but I can nearly drop it. You know, you probably can't say for sure that a gas giant isn't all that wibbly if you stand really close to it. I kind of think I'm going to let that be it. It looks like it's got a bit of an atmosphere here, in a way. I know it's a little lumpy, bumpy, wibbly, but if I mess with it anymore, I'm just going to make a mess of it. And I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to let it dry, as it is, and right now I suspect I'm going to call it Peking Giant, because it's just the edge of a gas giant in all this coolness. I've unfortunately stretched it out a bit and lost some of it, but it still does have that spacey, pebbly sort of effect, so... I'm going to go with it. We're ready for this close-up. Let's go to the blue first. Look at all that pebbles and variety and crap going on in there. All that loveliness. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Purple and tin and silver. Oh my. Just all, there is so much going on if you really look close at it. Here's our planet, kind of swooshy, kind of molten looking in a lot of ways. Maybe it's got a lot of sulfur in it. It probably stinks there. That's not a comforting thought, is it? My planet stinks! Hooray! Anyway, that is our wet result dramatic pullback. And we will see what it looks like when it's dry. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I almost forgot the sparkles! 
That is not good. Here we go. Starry stars all over the placey place, but not in the gas giant. Because no, that is not where it goes. We've got our blue sparkles. Right here we got our white sparkles. Or clear or whatever the hell they are. Sparkle, sparkle all over the place. And then to finish out, we've got our silver sparkles. Whoa, there's a lot of stars going on here. Yes, yes, yes. Just an explosion of stars. Hooray. Now, don't come back until it's dry. Peking Giant is dry, and I got to say, it looks a lot better than I expected it to when it was wet. It's got all of this depth with the sort of nebulae, I don't know what it is going on in, in the center there. And then our, our gas giant just being all wibbly wobbly and and interesting in there, all flowing. And take a look at the get a little bit of the sparkle there. You can see that I like the glitter. Sparkle, sparkle. I like those little ribbons of the blue in there. That's lovely, 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 lovely. And a big old sprinkling of the sparkly there. You can really catch an effect of the sparkle there. All that silver and the purple, it all just kind of played pretty lovely there. So that is Peking Giant. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.